right folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join us in the middle of the Scottish countryside and today we're near Montrose Beach because we've come to look at a cool bit of Cold War history right here and this place was operational I believe until the early 90s but it used to be a microwave like station which I think had like a massive, well I know 100% it had a massive aerial here and a lot of current, it had its own like power source, massive generator and stuff like that was all on site here and these microwave stations, they ran all the way from Thurzo to Ayr in Scotland. I don't know if I mentioned it, Channel DJ is joining us on this adventure once again folks and look at this land we're on here, it's incredible. The sea is roaring at the other side of these trees and We've been blessed with the sunshine as well today. It's so cool. But yeah, it's this place is so interesting to have a visit. Normally, like, I'm disappointed by the amount of like vandalism and how much it's been destroyed though, because the first time I came here, the cooker and stuff was still in the kitchen. It literally looked like the people had just left. And then now when I see it, it's all smashed. It's just incredible how a place like this decays. And, that's the reason we come to document history like this. To see how it changes over the years. Document it before it's gone forever. And you can see that separate fenced off area. That's where one of the guy ropes for the massive mast had been. Again, it had been so big. But they fenced it like that, obviously, so... If the Russians or whoever had invaded back then, they wouldn't have been easily able to knock the guy rope down. And another interesting thing with this fence, it's actually earthed, everything's connected together with earth straps and stuff. And that's so like, there was no interference with the signal. Because a fence like that also acts like a receiver for signals. See how the wires all connect in each bat? It's absolutely insane, folks. Check out folks, this is the main front gate. And look at that, there's one of those big earth straps that I was talking about. Crazy braided like metal. It's been a real deal operation here. We'll go in for a look. It's insane, like there is wind howling through, but once we get inside here we'll be okay. A good thing with a spot like this, it's like interesting to imagine how it was back in the day when it was the Americans that ran this place in the Cold War period. I think originally it was built by the RAF back in like the World War II era and then it was later taken on by the United States. I'm not sure, I think it was the Air Force, but it was definitely the United States anyway in some way. And then they had used it through the Cold War period as one of their microwave stations and somebody actually got in the comments one of the last times I was here and they said they were stationed here from like 1974 to 78 I think so it's cool to share stuff like this on a video and like people who might have worked here they'll be able to see the difference of it like now today and the amount of years that's passed the decay sets in it's crazy this fence was made at one time not to be breached and I'm sure if you'd been snooping about this area back in those days, the soldiers would have been chasing you on. This is another one of these separate fence sections here, and that was also for one of the guy ropes for the mast. It would have been a massive thing. It's crazy, folks. Insane adventures once again here. Look at the size of that. Hey, that's what the that's what would have held the rope up. There we go, folks. We've infiltrated the perimeter. There's actually a proper path worn here because so many people come through for a look. This is a smaller mast which is now here. Like, it's obviously been a second little mast, maybe a repeated or something, but the original mast was located over there. And they had their own substation here because they were, they were needing so much power. Because obviously the more power you have, the better, stronger signal you can use. 
and I think there's been little outside buildings here. Look at that, there's holes going right down in there. Look, there's original blue paint on the floor there. A lot of the military stuff back in the day was so well kept because obviously it was crucial for the defence of the country. Wow. When I come to places like this, I just like imagining how they were when they were like a prime location for like the defence of the country. Insane folks. I just got a couple of photographs there before we head in. There is a bit of a wind blowing down this way, but that's literally because we're right beside the sea. Let's get inside here. See what history remains all these years later. Check it out folks, the original front door is now lying down on the ground. And look at this, this is some of the main power controls for what they've had. Like ops deck, spare, hallway and offices. See, an interesting thing with this place, folks, they had the mains electricity, but also they had a generator there. And, like, the generator could be remotely controlled from here and turned on and off. I'm sure a few years ago, there was there was stuff here that said, like, antenna. Supervisor's office. Like, there's an antenna Always somewhere. Crazy folks, this is the last remains. Look, it's been burnt out and stuff. There's been serious fires in here. The first time I came in here as well, there was actually this door and stuff was still on. Oh. And look, this is this is one of the original signs which would have been to do with the like mast and the electricity in this building. Tells you the instructions for use. It says touch probe tip on circuit until discharged. Use probe only in circuits where voltage capacitance, I can't even say that word, falls within safe area indicated below. So, interesting. I think this is what they would have called the ops deck in the original, like what we saw on those switches at the door. And this is where the main wires had come through from that corner there where the mast was located outside. The wires had gone over the top of that ladder looking thing. And that is what we've seen in other military installations with heavy wiring. They put brackets like this to support the wires. And I'm guessing it must have come right around in here. But yeah. An interesting thing with this building too, folks, there's actually American plugs and British ones on the wall. And that would have been for the American soldiers coming over here and like... Kind of plugging all their stuff in. Oi, oi! Ancient Yeah, that's some mad 1950s. I can't believe how destroyed everything is, like... Since the first time I ever came in here, all this is just... Like, that knob and stuff was on the heater originally. Look at that, folks. There's the old American plug sockets on the wall there. Look at the way the paint's just peeling off of here, degrading. This must have been the air conditioning outlets here on the roof. See, the last time I was in this kitchen, I found some ancient newspaper. And it had some old dates and that on it. Look, here's the 1950s cooker, folks. Incredible bit of history, and it's a shame just to see it smashed on the floor now. It's cool the way all that old stuff looks. Look at that, folks. Never leave cooking unattended. So he's called the fire department 222. I'm not sure if that's an American thing, folks. Get in the comments if the American fire department's 222. And that shows you that this cooker's come 
over from America if that is the case which would be an incredible Ken, little bit of history to this place Ken, cooker history right here on the channel folks and I think originally this is where the fire blanket was on the wall it was like a metal box with the asbestos blanket there's an old heater temperature control thermostat and then look they've got the Belmont Belling heater up there looks 1950s eh bars on the window and that's because of the high security they needed in this place again this was like extreme this was at the top end of probably like the British defence of its era well even the Americans they were all like a team check this out here like the birds have been living in the cupboard it's funny because it's got like the wallpaper on it That's something they used to do in cupboards and that back in the day. Look, there's been like a yellow paint at one time and then it's been repainted white. It's been freshened up. And look at that folks, the old sign. I was just getting a couple of photographs there folks before we move on and take a look at the rest of this place. Look, there's the old heater. I've seen that in different military establishments as well over the years. That must have been the sort of heaters they used to have. And this would have been the bathroom. Classic sink there. It's crazy the way the paint always just flakes off the walls in places like this. Apparently it's to do with the lead and the old paint or something like that. It makes it go like that. Yeah, that's an old shower unit, but they still make showers and that to this day. The soap dish, folks, it's been like, it's been the home, the home of like some sparrows or something. The wind howling in the windows here, folks, is on rail. You can see there's been a brick flaying in there as well at one time. There's so much broken glass underfoot from those bricks and stuff getting thrown through the windows. This spot here at the end of this long corridor, this used to be where the water tank had been. I think that might have been like a hot water tank. Insane, folks. What an atmosphere an abandoned place like this has. It's like crazy. Look at that on the door there. That must have been something they had on there to stop it opening and closing. Yeah, it must have stopped it blowing shut. And I think this had been like an emergency escape. They could open up this. The barriers. Insane, folks. Look at this old heater control. Unreal. And then the way the greenery grows in through the window. It just adds to the character of the abandoned decay, like. And then here we can see once again, look, the American plug alongside the British plug. So it would cater to any particular person stationed here, any appliances that they had. There's been something fixed on the wall as well, look. And then old notice board. You can see there's been so many things pinned to this at one time. Probably like important things or maybe messages that they, ha they had to relay across the station or... Yeah, it's interesting. And then there's been hooks here. They've coloured it in with a black pen so you can't see what's been written there. Maybe one of these said secret underground bunker. And then there's, there's been extreme fire in this room. It's a shame to see it burnt out so badly. Okay, this looks like there's been... Maybe at one time a bench or something in there, or a desk of some sort. It's hard to say with the the way it looks nowadays. And then they've also had a, the ability to lock this door with a padlock. Maybe if they were relaying some extreme messages from the Cold War era. Okay, and if they saw like a group of bombers or something coming in the north. They would be relaying the messages, boom, 
whatever. In a lot of countries, they wouldn't have been able to detect the enemy so far away, I think. But yeah, it was like such a secret of time in the defence of the country. But then I actually know a lot of details about it. Kind of other than it was a microwave like station. That's what it was called, and they used can microwave radio frequencies. But as far as that goes, folks, who knows the rest of the history? I don't know what they were listening for or speaking about over the radio. Crazy, these little side rooms. It shows the age, because there's a sticker on there and the phone number to Dundee, it's got one less digit than a modern phone number. So it just shows you this has been like early 90s, late 80s. And then also somebody was stationed here kind of in the 70s. So this was operational for a long time. But I do believe like this building was originally built in World War II by the RAF. Because they had a lot of goings on. This area here was home to the first operational military airfield in the UK. Just like two mile up the coast here at the Montrose Aerodrome. Which is famous. It's a famous British aerodrome, folks. And all this sort of stuff is just kind of linked to it. Insane. But I think there was also a connection between this place and Edsel Airfield and that as well, where a lot of the US people were stationed as well. I love these old signs, like the old fire exit sign even. Look at this folks, up at the top of the window there's like a little square electrical boxes. There's like thin little wires, it's like almost a telecoms cable or something up there. Because I'm sure the original telecoms wire is down here on the wall. Look at this folks. That's where the telecoms had come in, under the line, under the ground I mean. American plug socket right beside it once again. There's been something up here as well. It's like just maybe an electrical junction box or something. And then I've seen these on other doors places. That was the style. Some of the old fire axes had that on it. But see when you see this on that door, it makes you think they weren't often going through here for any reason. Because that's got the can to open break glass tube on this door. I'm thinking this this is a later addition. Yeah. This was just one big room. Uh, and they've put that into the corner. Yeah. That's why I asked would you just leave a little fucking corner bat. Yeah. That is true. This must have been the main like ops room to do with the building. You can imagine probably desks. See, if you look, right, same with that. If you look here, right, they're metal. So oh, that's aye. Original, right? But look, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. So, so it is. is addition, look at this, folks. Charles DJ has done well once again. He's noticed that these are metal. See, I would say maybe the metal, though, is the non original. Get in the comments, folks. Would the wood be the original to this building? Or would the metal joists? I'm not actually sure about that. But like what we do on these adventures, we look at the history and ask the question. And often you uncover history and looking more in depth. Like what's this thing down here? Look, there's a bit of a flux capacitor. Look at that, folks. What even is that? You hear watch, because like see some capacitors and stuff. You can still get electrocuted by them even once they've been switched off for a very long time. Crazy, folks. But yeah, I've never actually seen metal joists, but like, I've never looked inside a military wall before. Look, there's stuff written on there. C-O-R... Something. It's hard to see, folks. We're looking at the back of that. I wonder if it's written on the front here, look. So if anybody recognises the make of that metal, you'll actually know where they got the supplies to build this, which is such a cool bit of history we've got right there. Looks like it says Guy Proc. And this has been some little something they've had. 
must have been for putting in their like little notes and stuff like that. Wow. It's like the longer you look at something like this, the more and more you keep seeing more like layers of history and little nuggets of things that you can often miss so easily. Incredible. Oh look, the door of this here has got a lot at one time written on it. Look at this folks, it's unfortunate all these are so badly like gone. You can't even, re it's like it's been hot. Oh, that's what it is folks, the heat of the fire. Maybe like my original videos from years ago, potentially you were able to read that and stuff because the first time I came here, and the windows were still in and it was a, an amazing place to explore. Yeah, there might have been batteries to do with their generators. Look at that, made in Great Britain. 1970. And look, what's that mm. one? 1970 as well. See, that'll be asbestos, that rope. Yeah, like B charger rack. Insane, folks. And that's the main switch for turning the place on and off, must be. I think that was the original. <laughs> could be. Dun. See, all that could be, though. Look, it's on already. Inside there, there's massive contacts. Emergency light. It's, it's crazy to think, like, like, A, B and C breakers. Three phase, isn't it? I did see in some of the rooms on the light switch. It says like C one. Look at that there. I wonder if it's been like a light or an alarm or something like that. Even this little window here at one time has been meshed for high security. And then look, there's this unusual thing here as well under the top. Everywhere you look, there's loads of wee electrical knickknacks. And they must have all been done stuff, kind of originally. And look, see, even the frame here that this is mounted on, look, it's big earth wires there coming out of the ground. Crazy. We'll go and take a look at the... It's got its own power source, folks. Because under there, that's where I think the wires and stuff come into the building. Check this out folks, real adventures once again. Look at the size of this metal tubing that's been somewhere folks. I can't mind they even seeing this the last time I was running this way. It could be the remains of like an old building or something which is no longer. In this shed here would have been the generator and the electrical substation. There's two different sections. And then this must have been where they had the fuel tank for the generator. See that pump? It's the same identical pump that you get in the ROC bunkers. Yeah, they've got like a sump for the water. And then that pump there pumps the water out. Anybody that kins ROC bunkers, folks, that's from the same era of the Cold War as this whole place. It's insane, like those little pumps and stuff. Originally painted red. Look at this danger high voltage. I think somebody's been partying in here at one time. Look at this folks, this is the electrical substation. It is disconnected nowadays. But look on the side of there, RAF Kneber. Yeah, inside there though, there's that oil. See it? These things were filled with oil. Substations to this day have still got that same oil in them, which is insane. Look at the massive connections. If a substation was turned on, you would never ever be able to stand here. Because it wouldn't be safe if you didn't know what you were doing. But look at this. See the interesting thing? Tested 13th of May, 1988. So that shows you that was the last time this place was kind of like tested. Probably for a couple of years and after that it was in use. But... Oh, aye. 
the old school instructions like safety precautions for electrics. Just like a stick the concrete floor as well. Yeah. Check this out on here. Socket power building is what it says. And then look, engine shed. 240 volts. And then look at these old gizmos on the wall here. It is insane. Look, these are like the lights which look like they're out of Thunderbird 2. Or any Thunderbirds vehicle. <laughs> Check this out, folks. What does it say here? 1992. There you go, folks. That's the most recent date. I'll try and get it on video. 1992, right there. 1952 here. Have we got a 1952 over here? Yeah. Any more takers? Mm. <laughs> Where are we seeing? Yeah. Oh, that could be saying that it's like something. Conforming to certain like electrical standards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this. I love the way these old like badges and stuff are with all the writing on them and. Do not attempt to operate switch against. I just heard the gate going. I just heard the gate rattling, folks. Look at that. It's been hauled off the wall. And that's the three phase, I'm sure. Something to do with the different colours. Yeah, the and then the one of them will be on like the blues on the blues, the reds. On look the at red. the thickness of the cable. There. But look at it here. Oh, it's just that just be even show it will protect it. Yeah. And then look, that's the same earth wire that we saw in the house. The main building. It's run through. And look, it's been joined there. Because it's just an earth, they can just crudely join it like that. Look, there's the thick wire tape going through. Somebody's been cutting it with like a grinder or something. And then there's been an old fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the light. Old metal light switch, folks. Insane, folks. Let's move on with this journey. This is the generator shed. This is where the input, the intake for the generator would have been. And then in here there would have been an engine and the exhaust went out that hole there. You can't even tell now it was a generator shed, but also see how the original roof has been up there and then when they've redesigned it, there's a lower roof. Because look, even the old light fittings are still up there. But this would have been like where you could start and stop at. Old boxes. But I'm sure you could also start and stop this one from through the house. Because there used to be a sign here and it said, warning, can this can start, or it's remotely controlled. Yeah, what does it say in the cement up there? Looks like it says 9B or something yeah. like that, eh? And then look at this, folks. See, I think this generator shed has been updated maybe more recently than the last shed we looked in. Because look, it's had metal lids over the top of the electr electrical conduit. And I think the generator's been mounted here. Look, you can see the remains of paint. Look at this, folks. The old yellow paint on the floor. I don't want to kick up too much of that, because that's all pigeon shit. It's no good for your lungs, that, folks. See, people's had fires in here even more recently, and I think that's what's caused a lot of that damage. And see this here? This fuel pipe would have been coming in from that tank that we looked at outside. Or maybe no either, because look, I'll just wiggle there. Yeah, that goes straight up to the bottom. Oh, aye, it's a wiring. That one there is a wiring conduit. So the fuel pipe must yeah, have come in. See that? It comes down. Yeah. Yep. The fuel pipe must have come in 
somewhere else. I think you can see it from the outside. And see another thing, there's a bracket on the wall outside which is where the exhaust mounted on. Yeah. Look at this old heater as well, folks. It's the classic auto vector. <laughs> Made by Dimplex, folks. It's got actually a trainer mark on it. I'm guessing it didn't come with that. Yeah, it's like they've put this new roof in at one time, but they've not painted it. Can the original paint goes right up? So who knows? Oh, I just noticed there's the controls for the the heater. Nineteen twenty four it says on it, but then I think that's a year, obviously, because they didn't have stuff like that back then. Look at this switch as well. See when I first came here, this had like a little glass bit there with like a red, looked like a red crystal, and I think obviously there'd been a wee bulb in behind there, and it would have lit up. It's just sad that things like that get smashed. Anything that's breakable. Look at this here, folks. That's the exhaust bracket up there on the wall where the the exhaust from the generator was mounted. Like, most of the time, they wouldn't have had to use the generator, but it would have been in kind of an emergency situation or whatever. Or if there'd even been a power cut. Look at this. This is a close-up of one of the guy ropes for the mast. And look, even it's got the earth onto it, earth in it, so if it got struck by lightning and stuff, it wouldn't have... can't do damage. The mast must have been right here, right? Yeah, in the corner where the fence is. Yeah. Let's go over to the mast location, folks. And there's still a bit on the ground, you can see where it was. Yeah, that's the back of the generator here, and this is what I was saying, the fuel pipe came in, must have been that little cemented hole we saw at the top. Because look, it's been mounted there. That's the wee bits of history, folks. It'd be so cool to see what engine they had in that on the generator. And I'm sure that, like the gas, oil, is that not what they call it? American's name for the fuel. 35 set gas oil. Check it out, folks. The character of this abandoned world that we're in. Yeah. It's like, maybe somebody was in that room and they threw the seed out when they were eating and then that, all these crops just grown here. Cause what is that? That's a fruit. Is that not like rasps or something? Somebody maybe threw the... Somebody maybe threw the rasps through the window, folks. Yeah, this is the location here of the mast. Look at the size of this bracket on the wall up here. Look at that, folks. That massive bit of girder there, which has been cut off, would have been where the connector was coming out. And then right in front of us here was a massive mast. And just look at that blue sky today, folks. See, it's not always raining in Scotland like people think. Today it's beautiful and sunny. Yeah, check this out, folks. The last remaining history here of this mast. Apart from, obviously, the guy rope bit isn't that. It's insane. Can in a few years a place like this could just get flattened or even burnt down even more. Videos like this keeps this history alive. The history of the Cold War and like the defence of the country that we had back then. I was thinking that this was something here, but it looks like it's just an old bit of wood that's been laid in the grass. And this perimeter fence has been real deal at one time, like defending this location. It is insane. And then this smaller mast has been obviously like linked to this site as well. I don't know what they've been doing with that. Maybe smaller communications. Maybe linking this with other bases and stuff around. Because there was so much like even American bases and that in Britain here. And British bases and American all side by side. Fighting the war. So there we go, folks. That's what this whole place was all about. This is the last remains of the mast. Look, there's a tiny metal bit there with something written on it. Who knows what that is, folks? It's hard to focus that close up with this. There we are. The last.
last remains of this Cold War nugget. And it's been such a cool adventure. Look, there's been something there. That's some sort of pipe there that's been capped. Who knows, folks? A gas pipe or something. Look, there's cables running under the ground there as well. So many little historical bits and pieces. There's the outside of that old air conditioner. I don't think they would have needed the air conditioning off and out in a place like this because it's quite cold most of the year, but like that there must have been for the American soldiers. There will be weeks in the summer that it's hot, but air conditioning probably wasn't such an essential part of this building. See, another thing, maybe with the extreme like power and the electrics they were using, maybe it did get really hot in there. Can how electric stuff heats up. Can son, I've just noticed, folks. Look, there's a second step here under all the grass. Look at this. There's actually a second step. So that shows since the war, or even like the last couple 20 years, so much has grown here. And it's just covering over. Yeah, it's insane. History just gets covered over and lost. See, that pipe must have been on that bracket leading up the wall there. Yeah, to the mass. Yeah. It's like that, that's it there, eh? It's like the mast has had some sort of like... Because that looks like it's either been like gas or water or something, the way it's been capped. And there's four holes going into that building there. Yeah. And it looks like that red paint is original. It would be good to see the setup inside the building that all that was connected to. And see when you can, like you see the amount of power they've been creating in that. Shows you like this has been a massive mast. It's probably been the size of the one at Thingy, uh, Montrim and Wood, or maybe even bigger. But it was a big place, kind of in its day, an important place. But there we are, folks. The main ops room through that window. And I don't know what, if they've been reinforcing the wall or what. It's got loads of bolts sticking out of it. The wind's blowing through strong here, folks. But look, there's the original general post office old sign there. That marks the old phone line. Because the original phone lines in Britain were run by the post office. Which, I don't know if people know about that, but that's an old bit of history right there. That's what we're all about on this channel, folks. Sharing history. Crabs. Oh, aye. That shows you we're near the coast, folks, when you see a crab shell lying in the grass. And it is a shame that the youths keep smashing this up more and more every year. See, they've got a daylight sensor out here. So I'm thinking they must have at one time maybe had... I can they've got one light up there, but they've maybe had more floodlights. Look at that, folks. The old light sensor. See, the walls have got those bolts through, but I'm just thinking... I know what it is now. That's the thing that's supporting the wiring. Can those big brackets. Insane, folks. Wow, what a place though. Bit of Cold War history, bit of British military history, a bit of American history as well right here today, folks. It's, it's cool, but we try and just have a wide array of different things on this channel and stuff like this, it's cool. Even though I've been before, it's like so interesting to see it again. Document it before it's gone forever. Cause stuff like this gets knocked in by people and damaged and then eventually it can just get flattened because it becomes so unstable and so dangerous and at that point it's just history deleted it's like this fence and stuff and it's all metal it'll probably be easily scrapped in the future look how all this is linked together with these like earth cables sneak through the fence there folks crazy scenes out here but anyway folks it's been a cool adventure I'll end this one here. Goodbye for me, goodbye for the channel DJ. Tune in again soon when we'll be on another adventure somewhere. I'm not even sure where we're going, but it'll be cool, folks. So, yeah, see you soon.